and welcome to Yes TV. I'm Sonia and I'm here to chat to you about all things engineering. And today we're going to chat to Dr. Mary Maloney, who's a researcher and lecturer from NTU Cork. Mary is also a fellow of Engineers Ireland and a council member and fellow of the Irish Academy of Engineers. So that's really impressive. Welcome, Mary, and thanks very much for agreeing to chat to us today. Delighted to be here. Thank you, Sonia, for the invitation. Thanks. Um, I was wondering if you could tell us, just to start off with, um, why did you why did you get involved in engineering? Why was engineer your choice? That's that's a long way back now. Um, I suppose all my life I've wanted to be a teacher. So when I was a kid, it was always I wanted to do teaching. Uh, I wanted to be a, a primary school teacher, I suppose, primarily. Um, but I also loved doing and making. I loved playing Lego. I was into sewing. I was into making plaster of Paris. I was always doing. I was always making. So at the time, um, the teaching, Mary I, the call to teaching was outside of the CAO. So I applied for that mm -hmm. and I applied for engineering. I got engineering and I also got the place in Mary I. And I had to make a decision about primary teaching or engineering. And I always, I looked at it and I felt engineering is such a broad qualification. It opened so many avenues and so many doors. So I felt if I did engineering, I could always teach, teach as a secondary mm. school to teacher if I did my H dip. And but actually, ultimately, here I am a teacher. I'm um, a teacher of civil engineering at the Munster Technological University, the Cork, the Bishopstown campus. So, um, yeah, it's um, and engineering offers you those opportunities to open many doors. Mm. Yeah, it does. Um, so can you tell me more about your current role? So um, my current role, um, I suppose I had a former career in industry. I was in Pfizer and Ringeskiddy and the pharmaceutical area for a long time. And about 15 years ago, I made a decision to um, to return to what I wanted to do, which was teaching. And um, I suppose I've, I've lectured in a number of roles in quantity surveying, mm -hmm. construction management, and I'm now with the Department of Civil Structural and Environmental Engineering. I lecture across all our suite of programs um from our level sevens through to our level nines in in civil structural environmental engineering and i also lecture in the cork center for architectural education which is co it's a joint partnership between ucc and mtu so and um, there i lecture to architects on the importance of structure and actually how to keep up the buildings that they design and um, i'm also um, an active researcher particularly in the mm -hmm. area of women in stem and in wow. whole engineering education trying to broaden and change and question how we actually educate and I suppose the formation of our engineers to make them very much, you know, problem around the whole area of problem based learning um, around teamwork um, around ethics within education or in engineering. So um, and I'm also a very active member within MTU itself. Um, I sit on the academic or the former academic council of CIT and its executive academic council having chaired a subcommittee. So it's been very involved as well in the integration of the um, of, of the two institutes into what is now our new Monster Technological University over the last few years. Wow. So you're a very busy woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I know you were involved with I Wish. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I suppose this goes back very much to my own, um, you know, trying to encourage and support uh, and empower girls to feel that they can be an engineer. Um, I suppose mm. always I was very much within a minority myself um, mm. and I was actually chair of the Cork region of, of Engineers Ireland when I was in my mid 30s, when I was heavily pregnant, wow. uh, first female to take that, to hold that role in wow. the region. Um, and there wasn't another female for I think it was 12 years. So um, mine, I'm very much trying to be an advocate for supporting girls to think outside the box. You know, mm. don't always just, you know, do do what you want to do, do what you want you're interested in um, and to open your mind to opportunities. So um, my colleague, uh, Norma Welsh, the faculty and uh, a former colleague of ours started the I Wish Campus Week back in 2016 and then um, Ashleen um, stepped aside and I stepped in with Norma as the academic co-host. So Norma and myself have been kind of building on the power of the I Wish Campus Week. So um, annually we welcome 80 girls from across the region um, on a week that is heavily oversubscribed. So sh such is the demand, but we've been working with other academic institutions. So now the Campus Week is offered in UL 
um, it's offered in TCD, UCD, and also we're hoping that UCC and NUIG will come on board as well. Obviously, this year is a challenge. Mm. Um, so, you know, um, we're getting ready for the Irish virtual event, and we look forward to welcoming you later this term virtually, unfortunately, onto the CI, uh, on, you know, to, to Bishopstown and across the MTU. But that's the mm -hmm. challenge. But next year will be different, hopefully. Yes. Um, I was speaking to a couple of uh, students from a few societies in MTU and they spoke about you and they spoke about uh, other members uh, and women that they met on the I Wish uh, week. And um, they spoke about how important it was for role models to see mm. women actually in engineering and industry uh, speaking to them. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, so um, I suppose our campus week is very much an interactive, as is our Engineering mm. Your Future campus week also that we run in partnership with Engineers Ireland and me. Mm. But role models, if you can't see it, you can't be it. Um, mm -hmm. So it's very much about, for instance, we take the girls on construction visits. We take the engineering of future students in May on construction site visits. Mm -hmm. We are very lucky to be to have so many industrial partners that welcome TY students on site. Um, our head of faculty invested in site boots and high vis gear and all that. So um, yeah, we've been very lucky to um, to you know to take them to construction sites and it twigs with them. Um, I suppose we very much with the Irish girls focus on um, trying to make to meet female role models, but just as mm -hmm. important for the boys in the um, engineering of future, which is um, which is male and female students. Um, but the whole thing actually, um, what's what I'm finding really empowering and what makes my job worthwhile now is that I have the likes of those girls in the societies and the YSTEM and the civil structural society. They are now role models themselves. So while I might have yeah. been their role model five and six years ago. They are now acting as the role model. The peer-to-peer -peer teaching and learning there is absolutely fantastic. And they're a great bunch of girls. And you know, when I see them in the corridors and they kind of um they say, I was here before, I kind of go, Well, that's why I give <laughs> so much time voluntarily, and why all of my colleagues across the campus give voluntarily of their time to these programs. Um, you know, like we've over 80 volunteers across the um the campus support us in running the I Wish Campus Week. This is not just Norma and Mary. This is across the, mm -hmm. the full campus and it's the goodwill of everybody and, you know, everybody yeah. trying to think about different ideas. And again, obviously, an awful lot of us lecturers come from industry. So we speak about our own roles. We speak about where we've been before, the positions we've held. And again, I suppose opening the, the girls' minds to, you know, I could be that actually. I might give that a go. So um, we've done some yeah. research. We've published some papers on this and there is a very strong shift in subject choice post the week where they're thinking about changing to more of the um, the science subjects and graphics that enables them then to pursue possibly science or engineering. Yes, it's a massive shift. I was the only uh, woman in my year uh, doing my engineering degree. So, um, yeah, so it's fantastic to see more and more young women taking part now. Uh, yeah, and well and done. Well done for that. Well. It's it's my colleagues and I. It's um it's it makes it you know we we need to have this balance in any mm -hmm. um, profession, you know. And mm -hmm. th there are certain areas of engineering that have more females than 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 others. Um, and for instance, architecture would be possibly slightly more female than male. So it's trying to get that balance mm -hmm. of of thirty seventy or sixty forty, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And we have that in some of our years now, and that's why it, I do this and why it makes it all worthwhile. Well, thank you so much, Mary, um, th for talking with us today. I was wondering if there's any uh, tips or tricks or anything you'd like to say to a young person that's uh, watching here. Yeah, well, you know, um, as I say, I, I well, you know, explore the different opportunities of engineering. I would always say that engineering is a fantastic, even if you're unsure of which type of engineering, explore possibly the common entry. I would also, for the parents out there, mm -hmm. um, I would check up scholarships at MTU. So there's um, on the um, there's scholarships.cit.ie. We'll have a lot of information on the various scholarships that are available that people mightn't be aware of. Mm -hmm. So you can get upwards of um, of ten thousand for your for your for while you're studying um, with us in Bishopstown um, and across the areas of computer science and engineering. And um, what I would also say is, you know, if you're unsure, 
pick something like engineering if you're strong on um, and you don't you know not every you're not going to come in with everything you're not going to come in with with the mm -hmm. honors maths the the applied maths the physics and the chemistry so in the first um, semester we take we you know we bring everybody to the same level so we really do help and support you in your in your first semester with us but you know engineering is a fantastic springboard um to whatever career be it pure engineering or be it you want to go into to financial management you want to go into teaching um, you know, look at me, I've already had two careers. So uh, we might have another one yet. <laughs> you never know. You well, never Mary, know. Thank it's you never so too late. Much. Yeah, never too late at all. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for chatting with us today. I really appreciate it. Um, and for everybody else at home, uh, thank you. And stay tuned for more chats with very inspirational engineers in the future. Slán. Slán, Gurmila Mahagat.